Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's been a while since we've done a fish and chip review and I'm in Scarborough at the minute, which is absolutely beautiful in the evening sunshine. And I thought for my tea, I'll have some fish and chips. And why not go and check out one of the best fish and chip shops here in Scarborough? It's had over 900 excellent reviews and it isn't Puppers. Which one is it? Come with me, we'll find out. The last hurrah of summer as we approach the end of August. Very busy down here today. So we all have our favourites. To be honest, I've never been a big fan of Puppers. I know that some people might be going, what? I've never been a big fan of it, but we're going to the one just further down. <laughs> so the fish pan. As always, I'm going to go for the battered cod, the chips, mushy peas, and a nice cup of hopefully Yorkshire tea. Do they do a deal? They do do a deal. For £12.95, I can get a battered cod, uh, chips, mushy peas, or curry or gravy with bread and butter, a pot of tea, or a cup of coffee. I think I'll go for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I go for the uh, the battered cod, please, with the mushy peas and uh, a cup of tea, please? I love how all the sauces are served in this cup and one thing that I saw which I'm a bit confused about is this <laughs> don't be fooled keep cash alive I got excited then I thought somebody left 20 quid they hadn't I love how all the tartar sauce and everything are in there thank you very much bread and butter's here already wow tea has been served with Hot water and of course an uh, extra pot of tea. Is it Yorkshire tea? That's the question. Isn't that like a given though? When you're in Yorkshire they serve Yorkshire tea? Probably not. Well that is dark. Shame it's not in a mug though. People always ask me is it awkward to film in such a quiet restaurant stroke cat? And the answer is yes. Like everybody's just staring at me. Okay let's try the tea. Well I'll be able to tell if it's Yorkshire tea. It's never great when you have a cup of tea and um, it tastes salty around the rim. I'm sure you'll tell me that's the dishwasher. The saltiness took away the, the flavour of the tea there, but that is a nice cup of tea. Whether it's Yorkshire tea, I don't know. By the way, if you're wondering why the audio sounds a little bit weird, it's because I'm right underneath a speaker and YouTube do not like music. And I'll obviously just get copyrighted with um, James Blunt that I think that is playing overhead. So a table has just become available and uh, the very kind lady asked me if I wanted to move seats. So of course I'm gonna move because the view from up here is amazing. What I love, right, when you get fish and chips is when they put it down in front of you, you feel the heat. That's always a good sign, right? When you feel the heat and then you get that smell. These chips are well chunky. Mushy peas and a little silver ramekin. Salt it up. People always moan at me that I put the tartar sauce on top of the fish. They always say that you should actually put it on the side and dip it in. Tell me what you think in the comments. The only thing I hate about fish and chip shops sometimes is the bottles like this. They're like really dirty and then you're, they're really greasy, aren't they? So what's interesting is you're either a fish and chip person who eats it out of a bag and newspaper with your hands, or you like to come into a restaurant and use a knife and fork. I'm the latter. Okay, first of all, let's try these mushy peas. A little bit gutted, they're not overly that mushy. They're not overly a great taste, and actually the peas are quite hard. So as long as I avoid the hard peas, that'll be all right. The chips are absolutely huge. They are so thick, look at that. The steam coming out of those. Not overly that crunchy, but Fluffy on the inside. I was just saying about not using my hands, I know, but I had to break it open. Yeah, that's a nice chip. You know when it's a nice chip, right? Because you kind of have an aftertaste. Does that sound stupid? I kind of have like a, it's gonna sound weird to say it's like a creamy aftertaste. I'm sure you'll tell me if I'm not the only person that thinks that. Another weird thing, right, is when you get your fish and chips, do you prefer to eat it when your cod's in front of you or your chips are in front of you? For some weird reason, I always have to have the cod at the back of the plate. 
and the chips at the front rather than the other way around. This fish does look pretty good. Just look at that batter. Mm. Look at that. Let's do the crunch test. Mm, bit good crunch. Wow, that looks really good inside. Straight away, look how flaky that is. And the batter, that wins the crunch test. The fish might be a little bit dry though. The batter's crunchy, but it doesn't overly have a great taste. This is why I put the tartar sauce on it and smother it in salt and vinegar. So this bit, I do use my hands as we do the flake test. It doesn't overly melt in my mouth. It is a little bit dry, like I said. It's not the worst fish I've had. Wow, there's everything in here. There's uh, salad cream, tomato sauce, brown sauce, mayonnaise. Is there no tartar sauce? Ah, yeah, there is. Never get into these, especially if your hands are a little bit sticky. You <laughs> kiss it goodbye. Oh no, can't get into it. They normally have those little cuts on them, don't they? But I can't see any cuts on this. It's the only thing about getting tartar sauce and sauce in these sachets is that you can never open them. This must be the thickest chips I think I've ever had. You gotta love the summer, half past six in the evening and just look how busy the beach is out there. People still on the water, even got a view of a seagull just there. Look. Well, I was kind of disappointed with that fish and chips, but what I can't complain about is the price. It cost me 12.95. In some places, the cod is more than that. And bearing in mind, I had mushy peas, chips, cup of tea, and bread and butter. That's a very good price, especially with the cost of living and everything. All right, let's start with the fish. It looked better than it tasted, unfortunately. The batter looked amazing. It was golden, it looked crispy. The fish looked ultra white and flaky, but unfortunately I found the fish to be quite dry in places. The middle part of the fish wasn't too bad, but especially around the edges, it was quite dry. The batter didn't really taste that much. However, I did like the chips. They had a really great, please tell me I'm not the only person that talks about an aftertaste, right? When you have chips, you get like a little creamy kick in the back of your throat, or is that just me? Or am I just weird? I don't know. Mushy peas I was really disappointed with. The peas were actually quite hard in that and it didn't have much flavour at all. It, it was a nice cup of tea. Don't know whether it was a Yorkshire cup of tea, I don't know. If you've been to Scarborough, tell me your favourite fish and chip shop. And if you want to see more fish and chip shop reviews, and one of my favourites in Whitby here, or Blackpool here, give the video a thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.